Welcome to this channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at isometric fantasy and isometric sci-fi buildings model to generate really cool nature 3D worlds, either for your own personal collection or generating some game assets. Let's quickly get into the model itself. You can see there's some description and we're going to be following this description in order to do good generation. So click on generate with this model. So I'm going to be generating more than 10 of these prompts with the model itself. And we're going to be appending 3D ray render isometric in all of our prompts for correct generation. So next what we want to do is use the guidance scale of 6. Next we want to use unclear, harsh, oversaturated, soft, blurry in the negative prompt. So I'm just going to quickly add of that align. Now let's start generating our world. Okay, so our generation is ready. First, what I wanted to look at is a towering fortress built into a side of mountain surrounded by a moat of lava and guarded by fusing dragons. 3D and this is our static prompt. I don't see dragon in any of these but i do see surrounded by molten lava here in the in this generation i can see a fortress all this looks like a great generation Seems like a great isometric world second i tried a lush and enchanted forest filled with magical creatures including unicorns spirits and talking trees the generation looks fine like i said there is no uh you won't see characters in isometric generations but the world themselves look pretty good this looks great this too looks great uh, again can be used as an idea to uh, generate your game assets next underwater city populated by merfolk shimmering coral reefs schools of bright colored fish let's see definitely looks underwater but this has an element of being underwater and outside this like this world populated with coral leaf, coral reefs all of these are similar in that sense but this one seems to be underwater you can see there is a blue element and there is some fish floating here overall i like these generations next i tried sprawling desert landscape with dotted ancient ruins and inhabited by nomadic tribes and giant sandworms this one looks fine seems like a desertish landscape don't understand the green part there anyhow let's look at a floating island in the clouds accessible only by flying only by flying mounts and populated by sky pirates and air elementals looks great um this seems to be good there's something that's flying here seems to be a cloud here seems like a mountain of sorts so floating mountain of sorts so overall a good generation next i tried castle haunted with overrun by ghosts and other dead horrors with secret passages and hidden treasure. Looks like a great generation. This one specifically has some horror houses. We'll also try some sci-fi model, sci-fi isometric model. So stay tuned uh, for the next set of generations. A frozen wasteland populated by fierce barbarian tribes, ice elements with towering glaciers and frozen waterfalls. Uh, let's find a frozen waterfall. So this has a frozen waterfall. Seems like there are glaciers here. So overall, this seems like a good generation. But I don't see how these houses can survive in a frozen wasteland like this one. So may need further fine tuning or refinement, depending on the input. A bustling port city teamed, teeming with merchants, sailors, and adventurers, with towering ships and bustling markets. 3D again. That's static. But this seems like a port city for sure because you can see there's some water below don't necessarily see a port somewhere and this is isometric art so and this also has a flag in that sense. so overall this seems like a better generation next a network of underground cabins with filled with strange creatures glowing mushrooms uh, home to dwarves and other subterranean races again i'm trying to find glowing mushrooms so these two seem to have glowing mushrooms and home to doves and there's some crystal here seems and this one seems to be fine cool let's try the next one a volcanic wasteland dotted with smoking craters and treacherous lava flows inhibited with fire elementals and other fiery creatures yeah this one seems good but this is not isometric art right so this also isn't isometric art this seems uh, okay in that sense where you can see some elemental floating outside uh, you know coming out from some center area itself so this one's great now let's try the uh, futuristic model and see the kind of outputs we can generate for that model so we're going to be trying these five prompts where in the sci-fi model itself futuristic city research facility space station apocalyptic world a colony built on a distant planet 
So let's try these. It seems like the first one is ready. It was basically to generate a towering cliff with tower scrapers, flying vehicles, navigating between them. While obviously it kind of didn't get in details, I can see this one has some towering skyscrapers. Don't see any flying cars, but this seems like a futuristic city, which is way condensed uh, in that sense, right? So let's see the next one where I wanted to generate a research facility located on a distant located on a distant planet where scientists study alien technology and life forms. However, they'll soon discover the planet is inhabited by dangerous and intelligent alien race, which may prove this seems like a good research facility, but I don't think this is isometric or is it isometric art? This also seems like a research facility way advanced than what we've seen. This also seems like a research facility. So overall, the generation is good. This one too seems like a research facility. A space station orbiting a black hole where a team of scientists and engineers work to harness the power of singularity for human use. Black hole has unexpected properties and may have unintended consequences. So, but I think this one looks good in that sense. Seems like it has an area that can absorb something to convert something. So this generation looks good. But the other one seems like, uh, this one also seems like something can be tossed here to generate and, you know something's going on down here so yeah let's move on to the next one where we see post-apocalyptic world where humanity has retreated underground to escape the ravages of cataclysmic given I, I don't think this did complete justice to the prompt while this looks pretty cool um this one seems like a more abandoned land where there is shortage of resources people care less about what's happening things like that generation but wouldn't say this is like the perfect one and finally, a colony on a distant planet where settlers struggle to survive in an environment that is hostile and unfamiliar. They must contend for extreme weather, dangerous wildlife and limited resources as they seek to build a new home for humanity. This seems like that kind of generation, but it's too small to be a colony. This seems to be a big enough place to be a single colony inside this architecture. You see, it seems like there's an entry from here, so maybe this is like an underground colony. But these are all the kind of isometric generations I wanted to try in this video. This had helped you consider. Drop a like on this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.